G'day everybody, Brett Salakis here. I am going to share with you a how-to video on how to make a digital remote learning lesson, a digital escape room. I hope you find it useful. All right, so I've set up this digital escape room using OneNote. Uh, how to create a digital escape room. You see there are quite a few tabs across the, the top. All of these tabs give different information. Um, it starts with a welcome and uh, you can insert different things. Insert uh, audio, video uh, there. So you just click up on insert. You just drop it in you want. I find it very reassuring if students get a new video or a audio from you, they hear and see something that looks familiar. Um, big thank you to Andrea Tolly, who helped me be able to do this uh, a few years ago. Thanks, Andrea. You were the one who showed me how to use uh, OneNote to be able to adapt to um, digital escape rooms, and I appreciate your, your help. You see here, I've got a question. Uh, who was the co-founder of Breakout EDU? The Breakout EDU is very much linked to the escape rooms. And see, I've got this, this question down here. We're using these questions, uh, the answer to this question actually unlocks the password of the next tab. So students will uh, click on, on a tab, they'll be prompted, you can set these passwords. You just double click on the tab, uh, a password protection option comes up. You click in there, I've already got this one set there, so it had changed password. You type in, I was asking there, who was the person who founded Breakout EDU, Adam Who, or co-founded anyway, Adam Bellow. You type in Bellow, unlocks his clustered activities. Here I have several activities, even potentially an optional extra activities. This way students can choose the pace of their learning and have extra learning if they wanna go a little bit further. Um, this can last several hours or even several days. They then create a, a, a slide deck usually or a video as a digital artifact. Uh, they collect that artifact, that, that slide deck, that video, email it back to you when you receive it. You uh, email back a password. That password enables them to unlock the, the next tab. Uh, you can see there I've, I've, I've got a tab set here. This time I've got an individual activity. You can have several uh, individual activities. This gives you control over the pace of the learning and also lets you highlight if there is a something specific you wanna do. When they've finished all of the tasks, they get along to this final task. The final task can be a summary that, again, you can see here, just have it password protected. So if they answer each question, you have the ending of the task, uh, there's a question about that task. Uh, I always put my passwords, have a tab for my passwords and have a password protected just for me, something that I know, so in case I ever forget what the answer is. Uh, and in this final section, let's have the outcome syllabus links, um, any learning intentions that I might have had up the front. We normally have learning intentions in our lesson. This is important because we want to keep good quality teaching. The pedagogy that is good in face-to-face -face learning is also pedagogy that is good in remote learning. So let's keep our intentions clear. Let's keep our outcomes there. Move away, Twitter there. Pro tip, if you get the students to either print out or even just show their parents this, then their parents can actually see the effort and quality of the learning. They'll see, right, my student has done, or my child has done, three, four, five syllabus uh, outcomes today. If you want to share, all you need to do is click into the share tab. You go down, you can see anyone with this link. You gotta make sure that you can share it as a contributor or share it as an editor. I'm gonna make sure that I'm sharing with people who can just view uh, and, and there's a share button there. It tells you what you wanna go. You go up to the link, click the sharing link. Um, make sure, again, share your link that is the view link, not the edit link. You don't want your students going in there changing the And it's that easy. Grab that link, uh, whatever platform you normally use. If you have a, a LMS or you're just using email or whatever type of strategy that you've got in place, it's important that you've got a strategy that works for you. This is not a time uh, to uh, learn a brand new technology that your students are unfamiliar with. Use the platform that you're currently using. Your students know, your parents know, you know, and send that link to them. 
and let them work through the work. That way you are ensuring quality teaching. Your pedagogical expertise has set up the tasks. The students have got independent learning where they can personalize the, the speed at which they move through. And then by emailing back to you different um, points with digital artifacts, you're ensuring quality control. I hope you like this task. Thank <laughs> you.